The Yankees hosted the Tampa Bay Rays this afternoon on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. It was the last of a four-game series at home for the Yankees against the Rays. Yankee Stadium was packed with 42,116 people in attendance today. The Yankees won the last two games by one after dropping the first game of the series 8-2 to two to the Rays. On the mound tonight was Zach Eflin for the Rays and the struggling Clark Schmidt for New York. The Yankees are 8-3 and three in their last 11 games, impressive considering the fact that they started 15-15 and 15, and the fact that all three losses came against the top seed of Rays in the AL East. Coming into the game, the two teams were both 3-3 three and three against each other this season, with quite a few of those games separated by one run. Today's game was another one of those. The Rays have cooled off a bit since their historic 13-0 start, dropping five of their last 10 games. Yandy Diaz left off with a double and was able to score after two ground outs from the Rays in the next two at-bats. He left the game in the second inning with left groin tightness, though. But the Rays added two runs in the third after a couple hits on a sack fly. Zach Eflin, though, began to struggle in the third after Anthony Volpe's hit came right back at him and hit him. Three straight hits followed for the Bronx Bombers, including an Oswaldo Cabrera home run and Anthony Rizzo homer soon after, adding another two runs for the Yankees and giving them the lead. For the Clark Schmidt continued to struggle in the fourth inning, barely escaping without allowing a run as the Rays stranded a man on third. In the fifth inning, though, he wasn't as lucky. He managed to allow a bases-loaded situation where Harrison Bader bailed him out on a deep fly ball, still resulting in a sack fly. He was taken off, after which Albert Abreu allowed a grand slam to Taylor Walls, completely rendering the Yankee fans lifeless in the stadium. Questions arose about Aaron Boone's decision-making skills, after he chose to use a Abreu in the bases loaded situation. Um, was part of going to Abreu there that you wanted to avoid three or four with Marinaccio, if you could? Um, not necessarily. We were just really short down there and wasn't going to be able to get to the back end. Um, I had maybe one with Marinaccio. Um, we were just short back there today. I'll leave it at that. At this point, it was eight to four. But the Yankees weren't quite done yet. They slowly crept back, scoring one in the seventh and tacking on another two after a third two-run shot in the game for New York, this time by Anthony Volpe. That was in the eighth inning. The Yankees were able to hold Tampa scoreless for the rest of the game after the Grand Slam with some huge pitching by Ron Marinaccio in the ninth. And of course, it was Aaron Judge who came up in the bottom of the ninth with two outs to try to save the day with the Yankees down eight to seven. He had a deep fly ball with everyone standing up in the stadium, only to fall slightly short at the warning track. But contrary to everyone in the stadium, Aaron Judge seems to have known that it wouldn't exit the park all along. Aaron, did you think you had tied things up there in the ninth? No, um, you know, hit it good, but off the bat, just hit it too high, and especially, you know, how, how deep it is out there, you know, it kind of ran for a miracle once it got up there. The Yankees' offense was solid today, and the game showed that the Yankees' problems at least for now, lie defensively. They made multiple errors and had poor pitching for most of the game, so poor that seven runs couldn't make up for it and bring the Yankees the win. Pitchers were so inaccurate that Isaac Paredes on the Rays was hit by a pitch twice in the game. The Yankees will hope to keep up the high scoring from this game and move up the standings after splitting the four-game series with the top-seeded Tampa Bay Rays in the AL East. With WFEV Sports, I'm Will Jang, and I hope to see you guys soon again.